since technically at another time since I worked for Elio, I would have been relying on her. <laughs> uh, frankly, Izzo is the SEIU 1021 union representative. She's going to give us an update because she's actually about to go into a meeting. Today is Friday, se- uh, September, December 8th uh, at, uh, what, 4 o'clock is it? Something like that? Thereabouts? Yeah, um, and we're at Oakland City Hall, 425. Frankie, what's going on? What's the update? So, thank yeah, you. so um, we've been in bargaining for about seven months. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the last four, th- uh, four days, we've been on strike. The whole city, um, 1021 and 21, have been on strike. And um, we're trying to negotiate with the mayor. Um, but she's been really stubborn about trying to um, make any kind of um, compromise with us. And so it's just like left us in the position where um, at the strike. We're, we're just having to keep keep on with this strike. And um, it's really, really disappointing because this strike is affecting so many different people. I'm a Head Start family advocate and um, we have over a thousand kids that are not getting their um, Head Start services. That mm-hmm. affects not just the children, it affects the parents um, who uh, rely on us so that they can go to work and go to uh, go to go to school mm-hmm. so um, and then there are senior services there's um, you know the garbage pickup mm-hmm. I mean there are just so many services that, um, that all the city is missing out on while the, the mayor uh, mm-hmm. does whatever she's doing to, to I, I, I really I don't understand like um, what is what, what the holdup is and trying to like negotiate with us and mm-hmm. come to a fair contract so that we can go back to work. We all want to go back to work. I want to go right. back to work. I miss my work so much. I've done it for 22 yeah, we years. Happy. 22 years. 22 years. I've Frank, been a family advocate. Than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, wow. I love my job and I love my families and I love the children mm-hmm. and um, I just want to get back to work and be able to do the work that I do to help the families in Oakland. Hey Frankie, tell my viewers what you all want versus what the mayor so um, when we first came into bargaining um, in uh, May of 2017, mm-hmm. they wanted to give us zero, a zero increase, a zero cost of living increase. And this is in spite of the zero? fact, yeah, zero. They offered us zero, even though um, when we negotiated a contract two years ago. She said that she's her ex- their exact words were um, uh, just take this this increase right now we we got a seven percent in our last contract four mm-hmm. and three and they were like just take this right now because we're gonna we're really gonna get you next time on the next contract we're gonna give you a, a, a yeah, fair increase that. yeah i remember that yes remember and that. um yep. and then they came back with zero right zero and then that we, was in 2012 right something like it, that where it, they came up with nothing or well, you guys gave up a lot we Sorry. gave up a lot yeah. since 2008. We've taken furlough days. Mm-hmm. We've taken, um, they started taking money out of our check for um, our um, retirement, for right. our purse income. Right. And um, and so um, we, the last raise we finally just got in this last contract, it's increased my income like maybe around $100 a month. And that's since 2008. Jeez. 2008. Eight. That's almost ten years ago. If I may, is it just Libby's decision, or is it the council as a whole? Or I mean, are, well, we've been, you know? we, yeah. And let um, me ask you this: Do you think strong mayor has helped us in this? Uh, we were better. We, I think we were better off under council manager. I'm starting to think that. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> our mayor has not. She has not been at all cooperative. I, I, I don't really. I can't tell you what she's thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, to, to, to hold off on, you know keep us out here on strike this many days and to affect this many Oakland people and to affect yeah. this many city workers. There are so many city workers who barely make it from paycheck to paycheck, especially in Head Start. Right. And um, to keep us out here um, and, you know, I was telling somebody this morning that the amount of money that they've saved um, on this four-day strike so far is the, is the amount of money that we need for the, for the increase. So I, they might as well just give yeah. it to us, but she doesn't want to. I don't know. Mayor... I don't know what your issue is, but you need to hear the city and you need to hear your unions that work for you and your city employees, and you need to consider bargaining with us so that we can get a fair contract.